So welcome back to I Know Football. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to put on football equipment. So I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So uh, show you how to do it in the new millennium in 2012. So uh, first, uh, you always wanna start with the base layer. So there's a couple options you can have. You can go with uh, a padded compression shirt. So I have a review on this. Some of you guys may have seen it, but you can start with a padded compression shirt. I actually choose to go with a, a long sleeve sweat wicking material. That's something that uh, it's light. You want something that's light, that keeps your muscles warm, that wicks moisture away from your body. So it's not gonna get heavy like cotton. The reason why I wear long sleeves is because I play on turf, so I don't want any turf burns on my elbows and my forearms. So once you have your base layer, I have a, my base layer top, Under Armour, heat gear. I actually have a base layer bottom, Under Armour tights, also heat gear. You can choose to go with compression shorts. Uh, that's something that you should wear. So stay away from, again, any boxers, boxer briefs, uh, briefs, anything with cotton. You definitely want something that's stretchy, that gives you free range of motion, that's not gonna bunch up. So anything that uh, has that sweat wicking material is gonna be good for you. So your next layer, is going to be your your pads so there's a couple of options that you had you can go with padded compression shorts that's something that i choose or you can actually put your pads inside your pants so i'm going to go with the the padded compression shorts and when you put them on you put them on right over your base layer you want to make sure they're they're tight or they're up high. So I want to make sure again you have free range of motion. So I was like, do a little bit of these. You know, make sure that I'm stretching completely before I put on anything else. What you don't want to do is wear a base layer and then put on another shirt. This would act as your padded base layer. So I always wear two pairs of socks. So you can see I'm wearing one right now. The socks go over your tights. If you're wearing tights at the bottom, you want to put your socks over that. That way your tights aren't going to stretch out. If you wear knee pads, you want to put them into your pants. So you're going to turn your pants inside out. And you'll put your knee pads into the pockets before you put on your pants. So there's different types of knee pads. You can check my videos for those. I choose not to wear knee pads. Uh, Depending on what pants you have, they might not even cover your knees. So again, same thing. You want to pull these up tight. You want to have free range of motion. Make sure that nothing's preventing your flexibility. Then I put on my second pair of socks. The reason why you wear two socks is it gives you a little more, bit more cushioning and makes your shoes a little tighter. So when your shoes are tight, you're not gonna have any slippage and it's gonna give you enough padding all around the shoe. You know what, I actually put on my shoes, my cleats, before I put on my shoulder pads. Uh, once you have the shoulder pads on, you know, it gets a little bulky, so. You wanna make sure your shoes are tight. So I usually double knot them. Sometimes you can take the laces and you can tuck them underneath the other laces, that way you're not gonna trip, the cleat's not gonna catch on it. Now your other pieces that you're going to need 
are your shoulder pads. So here are my shoulder pads. I have a back plate, which is one reason why I don't wear the padded compression shirt. You have your jersey. So depending on your position, you want your jerseys to be extra tight. When your jersey's extra tight, you're not gonna have defenders pulling on it. So a lot of people make the mistake, a lot of you younger guys, of trying to put your shoulder pads on first and then put on your jersey. So you definitely want the jersey to go on the shoulder pads before you put them on. Now I've got my jersey on my shoulder pads, only about halfway, so I can still get into them. You want to put your arms in first, and then put it over your head. Make sure you strap in tight so that your shoulder pads don't move. At the end, up and around my back plate. All right, your last accessories are your gloves and your helmet and whatever head cover you wanna wear. So, something that I always do is that I have a stocking cap. So a lot of football players will have uh, either a skull cap or a do-rag, a bandana, or a, uh, a stocking cap, and that just catches a lot of the sweat. Even if it's really thin, it catches a lot of the sweat in your helmet so it doesn't get in your eyes. So your last piece of accessory, are going to be your gloves. So all positions should really wear gloves, except for maybe quarterback. But you're going to have lineman-specific gloves, linebacker gloves, receiver gloves. And that's something that, again, you can check my channel for. You see all the reviews on. So a lot of you guys want to see how to put on a uniform. You can check the description for all the links to reviews of everything I have so far. And, uh, you know, this is what it is.